Hello, and welcome to a series of videos on the model-driven CLI, which is being introduced in release 16.0.01. This video introduces commit confirmed, and useful if you want to verify that a configuration change works correctly, and does not prevent access to the router. The standard commit command, validates and activates the candidate configuration, by copying the changes to the running configuration. The commit confirmed command, executes a commit operation and requires, within a confirmation timeout, an explicit confirmation to become permanent, via the commit confirmed accept command. But notice that, a commit confirmed cancel command, or an confirmation timeout, cancels an ongoing confirm commit, and performs an automatic rollback to the previous state. In the first example, we set the system name to node 2, and use the compare command to see the uncommitted changes. We commit the changes using the commit confirmed command, and observe the successful activation via the new system name, node 2. A commit expiration timeout interval of default 10 minutes, is started, and within this time, an explicit confirmation is required to confirm that the changes become permanent. While the commit confirmed timer is running, a follow-up commit confirmed command, restarts the timer with a default, or a specified value, 1 hour in this example. Next we make our changes permanent, by using the commit confirmed accept command, and notice that the timer and automatic rollback are cancelled. In the next example we change the system name from node 2, to node 3, and commit the changes using again the commit confirmed command. We observe a successful activation via the new system name, node 3. But use the commit confirmed cancel command to undo these changes, and see in the prompt, and with the compare command the previous uncommitted changes. Next we activate the same changes, using the commit confirmed command. Since no accept, nor cancel command is issued within the 10 minute timeout interval, all changes are reverted and the candidate configuration contains all uncommitted configuration changes. Confirmed using the compare command. In the final example we change again the system name, and use the commit confirmed command, to activate the changes. Notice that, a session logout will cancel the commit confirmed process, since commit persistence was not used. Next we abort the logout, cancel the ongoing commit confirmed, and start a persistent commit confirmed command, using persist id, cool. The session logout does not abort the ongoing commit confirmed action anymore. In the new session, we enter the configuration mode, using the edit config exclusive command, and notice that the confirmation timer is still running. Notice that the accept command fails using persist id with the name wrong, since the confirmed commit was started using a different persist token. Using the correct persist id, cool, makes the committed changes permanent. This brings us to the end of this video. Please watch additional videos, or read the documentation for more information on the model-driven CLI.